Hey, what's up? The Brood Dude is back here with another beer. So what I have is the second version that I found of these new Bud Light kind of fruit, Bud Light differences. Almost like these, I don't want to call them mixed drinks, but they've explored a different avenue of drinks and they've incorporated one was the orange one. If you didn't see the video before, go ahead and watch it. And this one is the lemon tea. So... I was very, very, very surprised of how the other one tasted. It just had, I didn't realize how sweet it was going to be. And come to find out, it's very, very sweet. So this one here, I'm expecting it to be sweet, right? And hopefully have a lot of lemon tea. I like the flavor of lemon tea. And if you don't like the flavor of lemon tea, then you probably won't like this. But I do. I like myself a nice Lipton tea, cold or warm, whatever the case is, with honey, with lime, with lime zest, anything. I like that. And so I'm excited to actually taste this bad boy. Yeah. Lager brewed with real lemon peels and aged on tea leaves with natural flavor. So it was actually... Um, just aged on that um, actual tea leaves. So it's 4.2% alcohol by volume, 25 fluid ounces. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Hopefully this is tea color. It's not tea color. And the other one wasn't like a orange color either. This one here has a different... Um, it has a different style of carbonation. The orange one was like, just like soda, right? It was just very, very effervescent, was blowing up. This one here, the head is pronounced almost like a, like a meringue, right? Like think of like beating egg whites and turning, that's kind of how it looks. I don't know if you can see it. It's very clear, but my fingerprints on the glass it smells like a beer. It doesn't have a lot of tea smell. It almost smells like a type of like Kolsch or some type of type of like, uh, it almost gives me that barnyard kind of uh, grain bag, just full of actual grain. And that's probably from the tea, the, 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 the actual, you know, leaves or probably the actual earthy qualities of the tea. <laughs> The main thing is tasting it, so let's go ahead and taste this. Ooh. I do not like. Whoa. There's this flavor that's like not tea, but tea. Almost like an old tea. Like if you, you decided to get tea... Let it sit in your car for a little bit and it was uncapped and then just you drove for like three or four days or drove a lot like I do and and particles and dust and dirt just kind of landed in there and then you went for it to taste it. That's what you're getting. It's almost dusty. Um, nothing looks off. I mean, I don't see a specific date, but these guys here. Um, based on the store and where I spoke to is they they're, they're selling people are buying them so I don't expect it to be off or, 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 or old oh, yeah I just don't think the fusion completed as it was supposed to it smells pretty good so what you're starting off your start it starts off and is there's there's this sweet quality and when I think of like Lemon tea, I think, of, okay, give me a little bit of citrus somewhere. There's no citrus at all. Then the teas come in like that. Well, the tea flavor, whatever they use, it almost tastes like you, you, you're, you're, just, you're just getting this like, like <clears throat> stale cough drop. Have you ever had a stale old cough drop? Kind of like that. A stale old cough drop without the menthol, but just that lemon flavor that you're supposed to get but it's not there yeah there's this off flavor that i can't i just can't uh describe it's a flavor that i've never really tasted 
but it's not pleasant. It's not something that you're enjoying, or at least I'm not enjoying. And honestly, I've drank a lot of beers, and I know a lot of people drink different style beers. And this one here, for some reason, I just don't think a lot of people will like it. Or if they do like it, I'm not sure how. It's not the worst beer I've tasted, but it's just not a favorite one for me. I I don't expect you to go waste whatever it was, two, $2.99 or whatever it was for it. Um, take my word for it. But if you do still want to go try it out for yourself and decide it for yourself, that's perfectly fine. And if you do go do it, don't share it with your friends. Do it for yourself first and see if you're like, hmm, is this something worth giving to the people I love? If not, scrap it. Forget you ever did it. I won't say anything if you don't say anything. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and liking. And with that said, the Brew Dude is out. Mm -hmm.